All right, let's get into WWF SmackDown for July 12th, 2001. Oh, yeah. We are going into the Invasion (laughs) pay-per-view where WCW and ECW join forces. The Coalition. No way. (laughs) Never. It's the WWF. It was never. (laughs) What do you mean, man? The Coalition are here. I always just kind of refer to them as the Alliance because that's what I remember them for. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, uh, I don't really even remember the coalition at all. Me neither. Um, which was very weird because they were very adamant that they were the coalition, and not only that, Jr. was yelling it. He wasn't even fuck. Did, he wasn't even <laughs> yelling it for like any reason at no. the end. Coalition, they're, coalition, they're here. They're here. <laughs> my God, is my win! It's a coalition. <laughs> they're not even here. It's not. It's just like a regular match. <laughs> it's Al's. You know, match. ECW is oh. so. <laughs> I was going to say, ECW was such an afterthought that the domain name for the pay-per-view was www.wcwinvasion.com. So ECW wasn't oh, even in there. I'm sure, because it, they probably didn't know if they were allowed to even say ECW on the show. So they were like, ah, we don't know yeah, what's Yeah, the easier. rights were all over the place for ECW and WCW at this point. Yeah. You know uh, Paul Vince, Heyman didn't give a shit. He's like, yeah, you got ECW. Here's a logo. Just do July. <laughs> yeah, well, sh- I'm sure Paul, I'm sure, I'm sure he was like, hey, here's all this shit. And I'm sure that acclaim and all the lawsuits they had <laughs> said, now hold yeah. on there. They said, hey, yeah, shut up, little Paul boy. Paul Heyman didn't care. <laughs> <laughs> your little hair. I own this. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> oh, <all> right. <laughs> uh, so we start off with one of many cold opens on this episode. Uh, it shows a match uh, where ECW and WCW joined forces to attack the WWF. Yeah, it was uh, Dreamer and RVD jumped. I think, was it Kane? It was like Kane and Jericho were in a match. I don't know who else was in there. I only remember Kane and Jericho getting their asses whooped here. <laughs> Yeah, really, just getting drawn out, just yeah. real bad. WWF guys come out to help because they're getting their asses whooped. Uh, but then the WWF guys end up being ECW guys. Oh and they shit! Turn and whoop Kane and Jericho's ass, and Jer- Jr. says, "Why? Why are the Dudleys <laughs> and Taz beating up their own guys?" <laughs> <laughs> Good question. <laughs> I mean, I Shane McMahon's backstage talking to Vince, and he says, "Look, man, we still got to do this five v five style shit. You know, WCW versus WWF. You know, we yeah. got to do it down bad. We got to take these fools uh, out." ECW then comes out during that match Fuck and they you, do man. the same shit again. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. WCW and ECW join forces and they go, no. why? Why? <laughs> why is ECW and WCW not fighting each other? You are <laughs> <You're so laughs> oh, I gotta take a show to call them. <laughs> Wait, uh, no, shit. actually, now that I think about it, I think ECW just became a thing in the invasion, and then later that night they joined WCW. Is that how it worked? I yeah, feel like that's, yeah, that's how it what played they, out. Because it, so, it was supposed to be one. It was supposed to be WWF, WCW, and ECW all fighting, mm-hmm. and then they yes. immediately combined joint w- forces. Yeah, just immediate. <laughs> like no time to like you know let it feel like it was a, a three company thing. Just immediately fuck this. Yeah, it was like the same night they joined forces immediately. The, the yeah, East, I mean, you know, I, relatively speaking. The guys at the head on the ECW side were all top ECW people. I mean, that you know, Van Dam, Dreamer, Raven, Dudley. No, that roster Taz. is definitely better than the WCW roster for sure. Yeah, absolutely, and that's probably why they were like, "Oh fuck, this WCW shit's fucked up, man. We got little Chavo Guerrero over here. We gotta get something." <laughs> going. Yo, Chavo was crazy here. Yeah, just crazy. We got meat, who was meat here? <laughs> He's chilling. <laughs> He's looking good. Um, so ECW comes out. Uh, they do the same gimmick again. Shane grabs the mic and he says. He can't beat Vince's checkbook, but he can outsmart him. And he no. has joined WCW and ECW into... No. no. The coalition. The coalition. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. Damn it. Uh, Vince does a weird thing with his arms where he puts his shoulders up and then drops them down Flies real away. weird. <laughs> yeah, I'm not too sure what's going on here. Very weird. I'm a bird. <laughs> JR is selling this like crazy on yeah. commentary. Like, this is... JR at his finest here yeah. was taking this because, I mean... This was pretty crazy. And JR was, he was talking about, the sins of the father are causing us all. Fuck you, like, demon seed. Oh my God. Yeah, dude, it was like crazy. You want to talk about sound, like a sound bite guy? Yeah, That's JR him is the, the sound bite Especially guy. Especially during this time, yeah. Because then he goes on even a little tangent. He said, July 9th is a day that will live in infamy. Remember, <laughs> never remember forget. this day. Remember this date. <laughs> this is the worst night in history. <laughs> I never noticed how much he did that. I never noticed how much he did that. There's a lot of dark days in the history of sports entertainment. If anything bad ever happens to Stone Cold, it's always the worst (laughs) night in history. It's not ever. How could this happen to me? (laughs) This is a personal attack on JR. This happened later in the Stone Cold stuff. JR was like, hell yeah. Why? (laughs) 
What's going on? Stone Cold. <laughs> Steve. <laughs> uh, and then they uh, Shane introduces the new owner of ECW, Vince's daughter, Stephanie McMahon Helmsley. And Vince has a shocked face and Stephanie McMahon comes out and God bless Stephanie McMahon. She, yeah. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> she, yeah. There's not a lot more to say there. It's just uh, true. Keep it, keep it up. <laughs> uh, yeah. So uh, we go backstage or it's another cold open, I guess. Yeah, uh, sorry. Vince, same thing. Yeah. This is yeah, another recap. Same cold open. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, well, anyways, Vince wants to shake Undertaker's hand. <laughs> Undertaker's hand. <laughs> Undertaker <laughs> is here with no bandana. Taker's tail, crazy and here, gigantic man. Gigantic forehead. <laughs> crazy here. Sarah tattooed. <laughs> crazy still looking. Still I want to shake your hand, and Vince says, "A deal is a deal. I gave you what you wanted tonight, even though you got Kurt as your tag partner, but you asked for Shane McMahon and DDP, and by God, you got it." And Vince says, "Uh." You will do me the honors. Will you do me the honors of being on Team WWF at the invasion? And Taker says, a deal's a deal, right? <laughs> and Vince says, a deal's a deal. By the way, uh, how Sarah? <laughs> Don't you Who? fucking ever. <laughs> <laughs> Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. <laughs> Okay, dude, jeez. <laughs> I will. I will. I will. Keep fucking my wife's mouth. Okay, dude. I will. All right. I will. Okay, dude. Okay, jeez. I will. Dude, okay, so you know the... I'm sure you guys already know this, but when they were doing the voiceovers for the, the, the DDP shit, uh, that was actually Vince's voice for the voiceover thing. What? Oh, like the distorted stalker yeah, voice? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because was Vince? It was Vince because on uh, No DQ or WFW, no said, whatever that site was back in the day, they uh, they leaked it, they distorted it, they figured oh, out. Oh, so Vince like they command. fixed it? Yeah, they did like some audio adjustment, and it was Vince's voice doing the whole like thing. So everyone thought That's, it was Vince. You're, you're talking about awesome. the footage that they show where like DDP is like hand cam. Yeah, watching and there's like Sarah, a voice. Right? And there's the like a little one, yeah. right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So that was like <laughs> Vince's <Okay, there>. voice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Vince. <laughs> hey, it's me, D D P. Bang. <laughs> And Sarah has no chance. I mean, bang. <laughs> As I was looking up the show, they uh, I was found out that they actually still ran WCW.com under the WWE banner. But I think it was they did like, it for a minute, right? Did it just redirect to or did no, it no, no, show no? I actually will send you shit. like the archive. There's an archive version of it. Yeah. Um, oh, the word. other interesting thing I got from here is that they called it WECW. Was the name of the group on the oh, website? Oh no. World Extreme so like Championship a, Wrestling. I don't know what that is. I love oh, this well, face. I'm gonna, but yeah, dude, the, the the Vince Shane split face for the invasion thing is so crazy. <laughs> look at the stars of WCW on the side: <laughs> Mike Oslo, Gregory Helms, Mark Jindrak, Canyon, <laughs> Stacy Keebler, Billy Kim, and Shane McMahon. Big WCW this is guy. All the stars Hugh are Moore, here. The Sean stars O'Hare. are here. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be Chuck Palumbo, Sean Stasiak, Lance Storm, Booker T, and wow. Tony Wilson. Oh, wow. Yeah, man, this yeah. is the invasion right here, brother. I remember, like, this is why they were beating them for eighty weeks in a row. <laughs> Eighty-three. <laughs> Mark Jindrak was whooping their ass, big well, style. I'm DDP, and I say. WCW sucked <laughs> asshole. <laughs> and Ric Flair. <laughs> they probably were also using ECWWrestling.com, <laughs> which is which was ECW's thing for some yeah, reason. Yeah, I know. I that was weird. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess uh, like one of the big things back then was those domains. Like all all the people came in StoneCold.com. Like oh, those yeah. websites were huge. Yeah, so yeah. Like, don't yeah, go to WWFY2J.com. I went there. Don't do it. WWF APA. <laughs> WWF APA. Y2J is not good. Don't go there. I'm no. going to check that out. I'm going to check it out right now. Hold on. It. Or maybe it's WFWCWInvasion.com. Maybe that was the one. <laughs> And you went to invasion.com and you're surprised that something crazy was going on. No, there was another one. I forgot what the other one was. If I find the one it was, I'll let you know. All right. Uh, you let me know. It was cool. uh, straight up porn. So there you go. Oh, oh WFHardies.com. There it was. Go to it. All right. Let me take a look. With a Z? No, Hardy's with an S. Whoa! <laughs> can I see link link? Yeah, can I get link? Link? Just type can, somebody link this? Hey, can I get the link? Can somebody link this? <laughs> WWF Hardy you know, this with is, an S. Dot it's com. like porn games and shit. Link this. I got, hey, I got my notes is, down here, bro. Fuck. Anyone got, oh, anybody got a link? <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> Check this out. There's like oh my god pussies and stuff on here, man. Whoa. Oh my god! Look at that. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Yo, not only is she getting penetrated, it's bouncing and going <laughs> crazy. <laughs> this is a gif. <laughs> Johnny, what's the domain that you guys own? Don't you own a domain? A TNA one? 
TNAvideovault.com? <laughs> yeah, let's go there. Check That's that out. That's awesome. Now. They're going crazy one, down here, though. They're doing push-ups and stuff. What the hell? Yeah. I moved on from this site. Go on. Oh, right. I'm, yeah. I haven't. No way. <laughs> I'm just looking. You only got <laughs> Julia Ann and Gina Valentino up here. All right, what did I what did I unlock you? I just wanted. To, <laughs> Yo, Angela <laughs> White is right here. This is awesome, I'm bro. Just looking. I'm the looking. The Hardy sponsor, Hardy's Angela White. Dang, 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 dang. <laughs> I bet back in the day when you went to the site, it went. Dang, 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 dang. There's definitely Guaranteed. softcore porn that had the Hardy's theme in it. I'm sure that was a thing because that was just yeah. fucking straight up regular music. I heard Brian Kendrick's theme somewhere always. Man, Man with, the with the plan. <laughs> was always on somewhere. porn <laughs> hell yeah whoa <laughs> anyway where are we uh, so yeah so we had the smackdown Shows intro we kicked it off with the wcw town hall yeah birmingham alabama by the way uh colon this is JR. a classic town yeah, of course the all not mobile town. i think mobile, not mobile guys. birmingham mobile guys yeah. damn this is weird uh colon jr on commentary because taz has joined the coalition sorry about that they show a graphic for DDP and Shane against Taker and Kurtz, and I actually thought it looked pretty cool. They have like the WCW graphic on the side of uh, DDP mm -hmm. and Shane. It yeah. looked pretty sweet. I love the graphics at this time. I yeah. think they're very fucking cool. Yeah, me too. Uh, so Shane comes down with the boys. <laughs> Who uh, are the boys? <laughs> Who's here? <laughs> all the stars. Kidman, <laughs> O'Hare, Palumbo, Gregory Hugh Helms. Morris. We Mark? just talked about all. We just listened to them all. Yeah, yeah. Right. All. <laughs> JR says, 25 years of my life I've devoted to this business, <laughs> and I worked my entire life to get to the WWF, and Monday night was the most disturbing night of my life. <laughs> <laughs> he buries the fuck out of WCW like nine Hell times yeah. on this show. Fuck these guys, man. Uh, it is very cool seeing Booker T come down with the WCW and US titles and Double shit. Double belts, and, yeah. Yeah, Sean O'Hare with the tag belt and shit. There's a lot of cool shit going on. Sean O'Hare is yeah. awesome, man. Yeah. Uh, Shane McMahon said, we are going to kick the WWF's beep. <laughs> they couldn't say ass in 2001? I... Not on UPN. Not UPN, probably. Yeah. Oh, right. fucking yeah. Access TV. Super local. Yeah, this was, everybody was watching. All the stars are watching this one. <laughs> they got WCW lasers on the ground. That like, shit in the is ring. awesome. That's yeah, I sweet. love that. Yeah, hell yeah. We need uh, DPW shirts in the style of this WCW logo. I think it look cool. Yeah, I I uh I remember I remember hating this logo for I did too, but it's grown on me. Like uh, it's grown on me too. Yeah. I think it's just nostalgia probably kicking I my think ass. just because I was like, this isn't the fucking logo when I was a kid. This isn't the logo. Plus I really liked the logo they had before they stopped with the, the big shit logo. C yeah, and then, yeah I love that me logo. Too. Yeah. And I love the nitro <laughs> version of that with the bird shit logo. Like yes, that was yes, like yes, yes, awesome yes. looking. Good shit. Um Sean Stasiak's in the ring. He's just chilling, man. He's fucking hanging He's got out. He has gear on. But, a lot of these guys were just hanging out at the time. They, yeah. doing <laughs> they were doing nothing, man. <laughs> yeah, just chilling. So I wonder how long they I'll be working here. Filling spots. Uh, Shane calls Stephanie out here. Hey, how's it going? Stephanie comes out with the ECW Michael Scott hat. <laughs> <laughs> this That's is awesome. crazy. This fit is like, I remember this hardcore. This is crazy. Yeah. A lot of people in WCW and ECW shirts and jeans. The ECW shirts were even stranger to me because I don't even know if ECW released that look it's like the ec f and w but like green and purple kind of logo i don't even remember if they use that on a shirt at the time it looks dope i it like it cool a lot did yeah, it, yeah, it just, not, was like, uh, this is like did so not have weird. like a tnn logo down at the bottom i swear there's like a tnn logo down there or what was down there oh man the, the ones that are wearing here that'd be crazy actually. or was it just an ec because it, it had like a little there was like three letters down it could have unless it said w because i wonder if this was we need to eat, we need shirts quick, so let's just get one they that we already had. Whatever logo they had. Shane also has a jersey on that says Shane O'Mac at the back of it, and also just the WCW and ECW logo. <laughs> he had the he had the quotations around it too, Shane O'Mac, just to make sure you have some <laughs> <laughs> Just in case you weren't sure. Yeah. He had that off white fit. That was crazy. Oh, yeah. Shane was Shane was way ahead of the time. Is too, this man. the no hose error or the hose back at this point? Oh, I don't know, man. Shane was kind of crazy here. <laughs> I think he just got his own company and shit. Got yeah. the boys back in town. I think oh. this was the the boys were back in town. Oh, for shame, shit. Man. <laughs> oh shit! It's about that time, Holy dude. Hell. There's like 500 people in the ring in this segment. It's, it's yeah, it's crazy. It's actually a miracle the ring didn't just collapse under the weight of how many people are in here. Because <laughs> yeah. it's not like these guys were small. Most of them were like six six, fucking you know, two seven. Awesome, gigantic looking here. Yeah, it's crazy. Mike Awesome with goatee, dude. What the fuck? He looked great. He did. Um, Paul Heyman says WWF stole all of ECW shit. And they stole their network. So in return, I will take your children. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. Um, 
You know, it's looking back on it. Um, it's always crazy looking back on the Paul Heyman promos now. I guess with more information about how you know Paul was basically Paul was basically doing what Gabe was doing. Yeah, with, yeah, with yeah. WWF. Um, Feeder, you know, especially yeah, yeah. yeah, kind of feeding them that way. Um, which is interesting, you know, looking back at all the promos and stuff. Because I remember back in the day when I was growing up, I was Fuck like, "Yeah, you tell him, yeah. Paul. Yeah. You tell Fuck him, Paul. <laughs> Fuck Aaron Bischoff. <laughs> Fuck him to hell." Yeah, he's just like working, you know, <laughs> yeah. with him and so whatever. Uh, Heyman says he wants Stephanie to give Sh- uh, Vince the same ultimatum that Vince gave his dad: get out of the way or get squashed. Uh, and then Steph says, Paul, from now on, you can call me boss. What the fuck, man? Right, don't, well, don't just bury Paul immediately. God damn it. Yeah, Paul was putting him over, too. Yeah. I don't yeah. Know why. You guys are the best. You two are the smartest little fuckers. Anyway, yeah, you call me boss or you Shut die. Up, Paul. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, anyway, slut, slut, slut. <laughs> Dude, God, they chanted no. slut at her. She didn't say nothing yet. They always do, man. That's a I don't know why they chanted that, Paul Heyman. <laughs> Chavo is in the ring here, and like, it's very small. this is crazy because he is he is standing around like sean o'hare mark jindrak mike awesome just like the biggest dude humanly possible and then there's chavo guerrero and it's just so (laughs) crazy wcw shirt and jeans like even billy kidman do not stand in the (laughs) middle of that (laughs) he like walked out to the side um i don't think speaking of i don't think mark jindrak was I think he was so spaced out here. Like he walked in the ring. I don't think he heard a single word anybody was saying. He's probably like outside this, the ring. Dude is just chilling, no thoughts, just <laughs> looking. He's just like staring <laughs> off in his space. I was looking, I was like, Are you good, bro? He this must, is crazy. He's like, he's thinking about all the things he's gonna do after this shitty invasion angle's over. He's like, Yeah, I got <laughs> yeah, some probably. Stuff in the so what, here. what should I do next? Look at me. Uh so Stephanie says the children are smarter, faster, and uh fun fact. They outlive their parents. Mm. And honestly, uh, me and Shane can't wait for you to die. Die. <laughs> Holy <laughs> fuck. All right. We couldn't wait for you to die and get out of the way. So we decided to join forces. So they were <laughs> they were just plotting the whole time. Our dad's going to die soon. So ah, That's whatever. how the whole every McMahon angle pretty much was, which yeah. is like crazy yeah. looking back on yeah. it. Uh, we decided to join forces and WCW and ECW will run you and the WWF out of business forever. And then they immediately hit my time because I guess this promo Get was going out. long. <laughs> yeah, go out of the <laughs> ring. <laughs> <laughs> I'll die later when you get out of the ring. <laughs> I feel like I'm dying with how long this is taking. Fucking hell, go. My so, we, okay, I love this, by the way. They go backstage and William Regal and Tajiri are watching the monitor for the show. They're just watching so the it, show pans out from the back of the television to the room like it's like a, a pan out shot that transitions perfectly yeah. to the yeah. shot where it's bam now we're talking about regal and tajiri watching that segment that we, we I, may they or, do they like bar- they barely ever did that shit like no. post like 2000 like seven or six we may or may not talk about how people watch monitors in AEW later uh, on this episode and we talk about how we know what segment was just happening you don't have to rub it in our faces that they're watching the show right now. We can understand that part. And this is what this was. It was awesome. It, very, very cool. I love this shit. I remember when I was a kid growing up, too, I always thought that was really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember SmackDown had a ton of stuff, like 2003, 4, like Lesnar type stuff. Everyone was always where, watching like, the show. <laughs> uh, well, there'd be like segments where like uh, Lesnar and Paul Heyman would be walking backstage and talking to each other. And then, like, uh, Rey Mysterio would come out of the bathroom yes. and it'd follow Rey Mysterio and what his storyline is Heyman or something did like a lo- that. I mean, I mean, I don't know. Was Heyman booking at that time when that was going on? Because that was, I mean, yes, his, he was. his Probably, transition yeah. stuff, even ECW, mm-hmm. where one match would kind of flow to the other. Like, a match would end, there'd be a run in, and then another guy would make the save, and that save was for the next match. And it would set, like, they would already just go rocking. Uh, yeah. I love that shit, man. Making it feel like it's just flowing like a real situation and not like. Camera, camera. It's hard. Camera. That's a it hard thing to do. Hard. Yeah, it is absolutely hard. Yeah. Um. So shout out. I'm. I'm I assume it's. Yeah, that's probably why they don't do it too much anymore yeah. because it's yeah. just probably people just already t- expect oh, something. The amount of it, takes you know? they probably had to do to get that one shot was probably ridiculous. Oh yeah, you had to be like on your point every mm-hmm. time. Uh, Tajiri's got the polo tucked into the pants here. <laughs> crazy fit. <laughs> um. Rigo asked Tajiri what he wants to do tonight, and then Tajiri starts speaking in Japanese. Uh, and Regal understands that. Yeah. He's like, oh, uh, j- oh, you want to commentate? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Because the jury puts on a high-pitched announcer voice for some reason. And Regal says, you know, I can understand you a lot better than I could Taz anyway. So you can commentate tonight. Yeah, no problem. 
That's awesome. Shout out, man. Oh, shit. The jury marks out and then punches a fucking statue or something. Yeah. Okay. What was the deal? How did they always get these rooms to look so damn British? It was every the, single time. Every, it was always the same looking room, too. They just must have brought all the yeah. shit with them. Now, on the other end of the room spectrum Uh-oh. here, we go backstage to what looks like Vince in a Motel 6 room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this look rough, dude. He's in a conference room, of course. Uh, Stone Cold is here with what? Deborah. Yes. Um, and this segment immediately <laughs> just gets crazy. Stone Cold is uh, charactered out of his mind right now. He is very tapped into this Stone Cold, which, so him and Deborah walk in, he gives Vince a hug, and uh, Vince says, yeah, I'm, I'm down in the dumps, uh, this damn invasion thing. My kids, my kids turn against <laughs> me. And Austin looks at him and he says, you still got me. <laughs> you still got Stone Cold. <laughs> and Vince says, Okay. <laughs> that was the delivery of this was so good. Still got me. <laughs> oh, he says, Well that ain't helping, huh? He says, Oh look, your your hair is falling out. You ain't kidding, huh? I got something. I got something that's gonna help you and take this whole evasion thing away. Erase all your problems. And he looks at Deborah, he says, Should I tell him? And Deborah looks at him and he says, I I don't know I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You don't tell me nothing. Never mind. <laughs> says, ah, I'm up for it. And I'll say, I'll be right back. And that's... that's now, there you go. You still got me. <laughs> that was... The delivery on this was so good. Stone Cold was essentially, if you want to look at it, was Dwight Schrute at this time. He was yeah, the assistant sure. to the original manager of Michael Scott, Vincent Man. It is Vince's very good. Just told him, Vince's kids just told him they want him to die. And Austin said, yeah, don't worry about that. <laughs> you got me. You got I, Stone Cold. I got something for you, son. <laughs> so we go to Taz versus Hardcore Holly. Tajiri uh, is here for commentary. Uh, Tajiri is just saying bullshit. And he says, hee, hee, hee. And JR says, oh, Oh, my God. Hee, hee, hee is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> That's he in English, of course. Uh, JR says, oh, oh, howdy. Uh, do you speak English there, son? And Tajiri says something in, in Japanese, I imagine. And JR he just says, so-so. Oh, is that what he said? So-so. Yeah, he says so-so. Or, or Choto, but he says yeah. so-so. And JR says, oh, there you go, I think. <laughs> <laughs> you speak English there, son? Howdy. <laughs> he really, was speaking he, he like... Say, son, he really... You speak English there, son? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, was, that was crazy. Uh, Did you, are you Americanized yet? What's going on? <laughs> We got just got Americanized. You got a Polish oh, shirt no. tucked into pants. Uh, so Taz comes out here. He was uh, on the commentary team. Now he is back wrestling because he has joined ECW and WCW side in the invasion. Uh, Taz is wrestling in sweatpants and shirt. Fuck. Uh, Rough man. Michael Cole is heartbroken here that Taz has left the commentary table and and also left the WWF. And he says, uh. My nephew calls Taz Uncle Taz and asks, why did he do what he did? And JR says, well, what'd you say? <laughs> Cole says, I didn't you know what to say. You speak English Goo goo gaga, show show to him, Sean. <laughs> show show, huh, Sean? Uh, so Hardcore Holly uh, beats the shit out of him for like most of the match. On commentary, they say Hardcore Holly was a victim of the 15 on 5 assault. <laughs> they counted the people? <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. That's good reporting. Hardcore Holly does the floating kick on the ropes to Taz. Uh, dumps him, fucking dumps him oh to the outside. God. Tajiri is trying to do JR commentary here by saying slobber knocker. <laughs> he's, he's going to slobber knocker. And Cole says, what? And JR says, oh, he said slobber knocker. <laughs> <laughs> I love that JR can hear all the times that he says JR lines. Because he, he says, that, yeah. business just picked up. And he goes, oh, business just picked up. <laughs> Barbie, oh, barbecue sauce. Oh, barbecue sauce? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can like barbecue sauce. He says Rocket Buster at one point. He does say Rocket Buster. The goes, ECW, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Rocket Buster. <laughs> this was actually, I, I really enjoyed this a me lot too. here. Um, did Tajiri, were you tell me back in the day that Tajiri pretended he didn't speak English? I think it was, I'm pretty sure. Tajiri k like faved his English constantly. Yeah, I think it was yes, the greatest he, word that's in wrestling. fantastic. Tajiri knew how to say Poughkeepsie, New York. I can't even say that shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, I know for a fact that he can say a lot more the words. Jerry did yes. shoot interviews working that he couldn't speak English, <laughs> <laughs> which that's is nuts, man. So yeah, awesome. I mean, he wasn't like perfect at it, but yes, he could speak English. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Um, Schlabberknocker. As you said, Holly's just kind of whooping ass here. 
Uh, JR says, JR says, this ain't quite a slobber knocker, but we're getting there. <laughs> oh, I guess business did what, a, up, what a shitty thing. That's a great line. <laughs> yeah, this match kind of sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, Taz then gets the Kata Hajime and wins. Yeah, just snatches him with it. I was like, oh, all right, cool, cool, cool. Then Taz comes ringside and stares at Tajiri, who has taken his job. <laughs> And, and then I'm, slaps the <laughs> shit out of him and starts beating him up. <laughs> he whoops his ass, puts him in a katahashime, and the crowd chants ECW. <laughs> ECW, ECW. Uh, there was a, this actually, I, I, at first I was like, oh, this is going to be kind of lame, but I actually kind of liked it. They, Taz like is done fucking up to Jerry. He's walking by the announce table and he stops and stares at Cole. And Cole is like passionately like yelling like, what the fuck is wrong with you, man? What has gotten into you, bro? And Taz just cold staring at him. I was like, oh, that's kind of cool, actually. Taz was good. Just for anyone who yeah. Uh, t- yeah. <laughs> only watched yeah. like this era yeah. Yeah. further, Taz actually was good. There's, there's <laughs> definitely people that only know Taz as ever being a commentator, like probably WWE commentary, yeah, TNA absolutely. commentator. Wow, AEW, like, that's weird to think of. Yeah, like wow. Taz was a beast, man. We go backstage, uh, and here we are again with Vince <laughs> and Deborah as Stone Cold <laughs> walks in with a guitar. Vince says, uh, Taz is choking people out. What's going on here? What's Austin gonna do? And Deborah says, "Ah, oh, you didn't tell me shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anything. I don't ever. know." And then Austin comes in with guitar, and Vince looks at him. He says, "You gonna hit someone with this?" <laughs> <laughs> no way. Oh, oh, I said, "We don't need violence. That isn't the answer to our problems, <laughs> man." <laughs> Stone Cold's a hippie now. This is yeah. crazy. <laughs> he sits down. And he says, "Ever since I was a little kid, when I had my problems." My dad will break out the guitar. <laughs> and Stone Cold me. is literally just saying shit at this point. Yeah. My dad broke out the guitar and I, when I had the little bullies at school. He sang me a song <laughs> and I forget my problems. And I'm offering words of music and inspiration for you. And Vince says, I don't understand. <laughs> Put me on his little knee. <laughs> and hey, the place. guitar, sing me his little tune. Guitar. <laughs> oh, I said, look at me. Stone Cold is here to sing you and solve your problems. This is like, <laughs> this is like chicken soup for the soul. <laughs> chicken soup for the soul. Soup. Dude, that was crazy. This whole fucking thing is nuts. Stone Cold is like, he flipped on a switch to his character like so yeah. quick. Here's a number my dad used to sing to me that worked every time. And he looks at Deborah. Yeah, you can sing along if you know the words. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I guess I don't. I don't He's, know. <laughs> he starts tuning the guitar. And <clears throat> Kumbaya, my lord. <laughs> Vince is so fucking checked out. He closes his eyes. He, Vince closes his eyes. Kumbaya. <laughs> <laughs> Deborah does not know the song, by the way. No, so no words. <laughs> I love one like, of a million, I'm sure. Oh, they probably had to laugh every fucking time. Yeah. This whole thing is them all corpsing. All, all there, of them There are was corpsing. a What DVD. You guys remember that DVD back in the yes, day? Yes, what? yes, yes. They had all these bits on it, and there was like one point where they talk about Vince just cracking up, and he could not stop laughing. I mean, especially when Kurt is involved, too. Like, later on, there's no way, man, because the stuff with Austin and Kurt just felt like them two trying to make each other laugh. <laughs> like it's, yeah, it, yeah, hell yeah, yeah. Kumbaya <laughs> for the show. Uh, we get the Hardcore Smack of the Night presented by Corn Nuts. <laughs> They suck. Man. What a fucking sentence, man. God Corn damn it, gone man. Wrong. Here's a, I don't know if we ever talked about this. We reached out to Corn Nuts. We yeah, tried they to told get, us, shut up. We tried to get sponsored by Corn Nuts for the first DPW show, and they just For no reason, us. all Corn Nuts suck. Go to hell. Yeah, we had a cool sponsor. For, we had a cool ad read for it. Yeah, Corn Nuts, they still suck. <laughs> yeah, they suck. And we suck. The fucking <laughs> the graphic for the Corn Nuts thing is just the same as the Lugs one, just with a big cob corn <laughs> we, we use an asset it's a corn of, it's a fucking corn on the cob back flipping on a motorcycle into the ring on raw <laughs> corn gone wrong that's like crazy that's oh, like the oh, hard i can't believe they didn't try to use this when uh youtube videos were like that they'd always have gone wrong in the title yeah, they could have gone yeah. crazy yeah <laughs> well this is the hardcore corn snack in seven mean flavors hardcore now, so. corn corn gone wrong <laughs> <laughs> they suck <laughs> Did we ever tell the story about how the dude came up to us at uh, DPW and gave us a big ass thing of corn nuts, like nine bags? No, I don't think we did. No. Oh yeah, uh, I shout out. Uh, somebody came up at DPW uh, forever.
whatever and gave us a big ass thing of corn nuts like nine bags and then all the boys loved the corn nuts just so you <laughs> they know. were super into them yeah, yeah so uh, out. corn nuts once again shout out get out with us email yeah, please you know. please let us know lance storm versus chris jericho is up next Yes, Lance Storm cuts a promo, and he says, uh, you know, let me assure you I ain't, I am no cartoon character, and I don't need no bells or whistles, and I'll prove it tonight when I destroy your very own, yeah, you know I gotcha, Chris Jericho interrupts, uh, and JR on commentary is putting over them, like, as a team and all, they're like, oh, these two teamed in Japan and all around the world, and they train together, uh, and- He did that like, a lot tonight, which was cool. I thought it was great, because JR does that, he puts that over, like, they were in Japan and stuff, and then you, immediately after, Michael Cole dubbed commentary saying, ah, well, that shit doesn't matter, they're fighting against each other tonight, <laughs> fucking fuck them, <laughs> and fuck Smokey Mountain, and fuck you. <laughs> Jericho comes out here with the walking Tron, no girl. Damn it. Uh, yeah, I was hoping Lance Storm whooped the shit out of him, but you know, whatever. <laughs> um, then Jericho cuts a promo and says, Lance Storm, this was crazy. I don't even know how Jericho got here. Jericho <laughs> says, Lance Storm is not a cartoon character. He is a movie character. Yes. Your name isn't Lance Storm. It's Forrest Gump. Got him. Got his ass. I said, what Got the his hell? Ass. I thought he was going to do like a storm. I don't know. Anything. <laughs> You're <laughs> Forrest Gump, bitch. <laughs> You we are got David bitch. Hasselhoff out here. Yeah, you are. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it didn't go anywhere either because he, he just says, Forrest, my mom always says, would you please shut the hell up? <laughs> Get Forrest <laughs> gumped. <laughs> Epic style. Forrest the hell. Uh, Jericho said he is not going to be mad at Storm for attacking the boys. He is going to get even. He says get um, 400 times. For, is that like a get, Forrest Gump thing? Get, 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 get. I think, I think he was. Uh, is that a Forrest yes, Gump thing? One, yeah, first, yeah, Forrest was. Uh, yeah, he would say that, like the stuttering thing. Yeah, yeah. But he would also, I think Jericho was also just looking to do fucking anything on the mic. I feel like he thought, thought that was like his, what Gonna separated get it over, him. Yeah. yeah, I guess so. They actually, they have a quick match first off. But they definitely got together before them and said, we're going to do a 20-minute match in five. In five, yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> Storm hits right off the bat, sick Air Pillman. Look fantastic. Awesome, yeah, yeah. Jericho goes for an enzigiri. Storm catches the leg, gets a single leg, tries to get the Boston Crab in. Uh, Jericho gets out. While this is going on, JR is on commentary saying, I won't go back there. I won't do it. <laughs> About WCW, I think. <laughs> yeah, no, he was. He was. Because JR was in the matches. I've been to WCW and I will not go back to that hill. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Holy. that. Uh, Storm goes up top. Jericho arm drags him off the top. That was cool this is hell. all back to back to back to yeah. back. They're just going. There's no hesitation here. Jericho hits the bulldog into the lion salt. Storm gets the knees up. He hits yeah. a super kick. Jericho kicks out at two here. The pacing is nuts. They're just like going. this is like far and beyond like the most WCW ass match I've seen. No, yeah, sure. that's, a, like yeah. this. that's a pretty good way to put it. Yeah. Um, Lance Storm then rolls through with the single leg. Uh, he was about to get it on Jericho, but Jericho reverses into the walls of Jericho and Storm taps. That was awesome. I, I thought they were going to have Jericho get fucked here because Nick Patrick was the referee, but Nick Patrick called for the bell. That was it. Yeah, but for some reason, wasn't a big. Maybe he was a big major guns guy, Nick Patrick. So he was like, I remember when she was major to, guns. Well, she was she was Canadianized. <laughs> she was Canadianized. That was the whole angle. That's awesome. Canadianized. And I'm not going back to the hill. I'm not going back. You, you can't make me. You can't me. make me go back. You can't make me. <laughs> Uh, we go backstage, uh, and now Stone Cold uh, is singing again. <laughs> get that lady, sing this song. Do da, do da. <laughs> Vince, face down. He just don't want to fucking hear this shit, man. <laughs> Kurt is walks in. Austin is still going, but he's. I, th I think he's lost the words. That's why he's just. <laughs> 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 and Austin looks at Kurt and he says, what are you doing? You don't deserve to be in here. And Kurt says, are you, you singing him a song? And Austin says, it's chicken soup for the soul. <laughs> Damn it, dude. <laughs> he said, look at you. It's written all over you. You're jealous. And Kurt says, of what? Of, of that? He said, you're jealous of my relationship with Vince. And you're jealous of my singing abilities. And Kurt says, oh, yeah, I was, I'm not jealous. I was in the Glee Club for two years. <laughs> <laughs> this, none of this, none of this was written. None of it. No, this that, was all just going. Yeah. Just going, yeah. Austin says, can you play the axe? 
Kurt says, what? And <laughs> Wait, I was like, the, the guitar. <laughs> 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 he plays play ukulele. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't play the guitar. Kurt says, I can. No, you can't. Yeah, I can. Can't. <laughs> <laughs> so Uncle just goes until Kurt goes next. Yeah, he's yeah. going to keep going until Kurt went to his next line. Kurt said, give me that. And Vince said, yeah, you think this is a good idea? And all it says, well, it was until he came in. <laughs> <laughs> just These guys are so fucking good, man. Yeah, no, I love this. They have a really good chemistry back and forth. So, to be fair, Kurt had it with everybody all the time. Yeah, right? yeah. No Crazy. matter what. Except Triple H. That was weird. I don't know what happened there. Yeah, uh, it's weird. Where is Triple H? Oh, yeah, gone. And I, yeah, he's, is he injured at this point? Yes, yes I think he, he already. I think he just got the. He got uh, tough enough to- the big yeah. <laughs> <injury. laughs> big fucking deal. <laughs> it's weird he comes in right after the invasion is over, too. That's weird. weird. Whoa, that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> so Kurt takes the guitar and he sits down and he asks, he said, Austin, can you move over? Because you're, you know, you're making me nervous. So Austin moves in closer to him. <laughs> Austin is practically in his lap. <laughs> so he eventually moves away and Kurt's, you know, getting ready. Uh, he's about to play, and Austin goes. And Kurt starts playing. He goes, "Jimmy Crack Corn, I don't care. Jimmy Crack Corn, and I don't care. Jimmy Crack Corn, and I don't care. I got Olympic gold. I got Olympic gold." And Kurt is doing. He won't stop. Austin is screaming. Kurt. Kurt. <laughs> Vince, by this point, is already out of the room. <laughs> yeah, gone. he got left. He's out of here, man. <laughs> Fucking Kurt stops playing. All said, you ran him out of the room. You stunk him out of the room. You're horrible. You're pathetic. <laughs> and Kurt says, it wasn't any worse than you. And I says, I did great. <laughs> Deborah, tell him. Tell him I did great. You make me sick. <laughs> Dude, that line was great. He's like, tell him I'm great. And she doesn't say anything. I'm great. <laughs> I'm great. <laughs> looks like, you make me sick. And he leaves. <laughs> this is all fucking timer, man. Yeah, it is. Man. I love this segment. The way that they play off each other is just great here. I mean, if you really want to look back at the, the if you really want to look back at, I guess, Stone Cold doing this was really not Stone Cold at all. No way. Um, probably killed the business. <laughs> probably, yeah, <laughs> but genuinely, probably should have been doing this. Definitely super bad for ratings. Especially yeah. right when WCW ended. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. The worst timing the ever. business is in peril. Through two companies died. Stone Gold's doing bits. <laughs> this is Literally one of the only reasons people wanted to watch WWF was for Austin to kick ass and drink yeah. beer and he's doing none of that. He's a pussy. <laughs> but yeah, this I was, I mean, it. very interesting uh, decision to do this with their most popular guy. I'm so um, glad they did though because damn, Triple H and The it. Rock are here. I don't really, yeah, yeah, I don't really know what the idea was here. But yeah, I mean, looking back on it now, uh, it was <laughs> very, very fun. Yeah. It's great. It definitely was, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we get the WWF Slam of the Week presented by Subway. E fresh. Hey, it's the WWF. And he they eat them sandwiches. Yeah. Them <laughs> you want sandwiches. a sandwich there, Sean? <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't age very well, Jared. Eat so the yeah, sandwiches. Eat the fucking sandwich, pussy boy. <laughs> uh, Jeff Hardy and Trish Stratus kiss. Yeah, start of that angle. Big Show hits Jeff with the alley oop and beats him, and then Trish kisses Jeff. Now, why didn't the Big Show get some love in here for getting the win? No way, man. Are you about to turn him heel face? No. <laughs> <laughs> Hot and cold Big Show. <laughs> yeah. Hot and cold. You're, you know what? You're right. That's true. Uh, we go backstage. Jeff and Trish are here. Jeff's still rocking the WrestleMania jersey. <laughs> and a bandana. Um, Jeff says he is not mad that Trish kissed him. Uh, and Lita and Matt come up. Hey, how's it going? Lita talks to Trish and says the following sentence <laughs> verbatim. <laughs> Trish, look, I understand we have to team together at Invasion in a bra and panties tag team match. I'm okay with that. It's business. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, oh, the cadence here was crazy. Yeah, we have no. a bra and panties tag team match. I'm okay with that. It's business. I don't know what's going on with you and Jeff, but we have issues, so let's settle them in the ring. Okay. What? <laughs> uh, Matt Hardy looks like he is wearing a Taz tank top. <laughs> Matt Hardy uh, is it's orange, so whatever. I'll take it. Uh, Lita wants to settle her and Trish's shit as Jeff looks at Trish's ass and Matt goes, what are you looking at? He goes, that. 
<laughs> uh, we go backstage again. Mike Awesome. Uh, I don't really even crazy. remember much Mike Awesome uh, segment. So this is no, cool I to see. do not at all. I don't have any recollection of this. He walks in. He's he's walking up to the seamstress, and Awesome goes, "You make pants around here." <laughs> <laughs> Good. He don't even wear. He don't even wear pants. He wants pants made now. <laughs> this WWF is like style. a w, this is like a my career cut scene. Like how You're you right. gear made. <laughs> how many people did Awesome go up to before this? Before he found her, just ask at random people. You make pants. <laughs> <laughs> Who you makes got, pants in here? <laughs> Well, I'm the WWF Hardcore Champion, and I need some pants. <laughs> I want you to listen to me. I want this side to say awesome, and I want this side over here. I also want to say awesome. <laughs> you know why I want them to say awesome? Because no matter which way you look, I want you to see the awesome one. <laughs> Holy fuck. What? <laughs> so, what? Ca- what? The camera, the camera so- pans out of this television, <laughs> uh, and Edge and Christian are watching this segment on the CRT TV. Fuck this guy, man. <laughs> Christian with the fucking glasses on. <laughs> Christian is eating out of the King of the Ring trophy. They're both eating candy out of the King of the Ring trophy. <laughs> Christian says, why don't he get pants that say Chump Stain and Dorkzilla? <laughs> <laughs> fucking, fucking got him, man. Fucking Beast. Morris gumped him. <laughs> Chris is awesome. Wow, what a fucking monster. <laughs> you make pants. <laughs> I'll never forget Dude, so that was, now, man. I was looking at more of like awesome stuff too. Just like I wonder how long this run lasted. So uh I found this kind of interesting. He actually okay. lasted until uh September twenty-seven, two thousand two. Um and he was released him, he was released alongside Sean Stasiak and Horace Hogan. Horace no. Hogan was signed? Apparently, why do they use Horace, Hogan, they use Horace Hogan? Hogan? Please tell me, please tell me you looked up and you found that he like worked heat or metal or something. I, it's he was signed to a contract in 2002. He was assigned to the Ohio based HWA territory in September. He was recalled to the main roster, wrestling dark matches for the SmackDown brand, and then he was released a month later. <laughs> listen to this. Listen to this. This is this is Horace Hogan's run in the WWF. <gasps> all right, so this is all in the span of one month. Yeah. <laughs> Shocking. Yeah, just everybody knows. Uh, all right, so first match was a house show for SmackDown. Okay. Bull Buchanan beats Horace Hogan. Holy fuck. Uh, next one is another house show. Next night, Bull Buchanan, Chavo <laughs> Guerrero Jr., and Tajiri defeat Horace Hogan, John Cena, and Mark Henry. What? What? <laughs> Holy fuck. The next night, Smackdown House Show, Horace Hogan, John Cena, and the Big Valboski (laughs) defeat Albert, Bull Buchanan, and Mike Awesome. Holy fuck. Uh, We have a dark the next night. He worked a four-day loop. That's crazy. Uh, Dark for WWE Velocity number 17. The Big Valboski defeats Horace Hogan. So wait, that was on Velocity or was it a dark match? That was Velocity? a dark match on oh. Velocity, oh, I believe. They have it recorded somewhere. They have to. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, what was, uh, there was a guy, uh, Trimoon, that would post stuff. Maybe yes. Yeah, I remember uh, that. Oh, yeah. I wonder if he ever posted that. Yeah. Trimoon was awesome, man. Yeah. We'll have to, yeah, I'll check that out because I'm actually interested. If anyone can find any Horace Hogan WWF footage at all, please send it to us. There's only two more matches here. So he had a house show uh, the next week. Batista, Hardcore Holly, and Mark Henry <laughs> defeat Bull Buchanan, Horace Hogan, and Reverend Devon. What the fuck? And then his final match in WWF was on the next Velocity, Velocity 18. Uh, Mark Henry and Mark Jindrak defeat Bull Buchanan and Horace Hogan. I'm guessing that's also a dark, right? Yes, that is also fuck, a dark man. Match. Wow. What a run. That footage has got to be around. They he record was, that he stuff. He was married to Bull Buchanan for that whole month. Yeah, that's, oh, what dude. a run. John Cena in the <laughs> boys? Batista? That's crazy. He was man. in the same wow. class as John Cena coming up. What the hell, man? Wow. That Sorry, is weird dude. to think about. <laughs> <laughs> what is Horace Hogan's last recorded match then? Uh, that was the Velocity 18, Mark Hen- Henry and Jindrak. End of his career? Yep. Defeat Bull Buchanan and Horace Hogan. He went out under? No way, man. We got to we gotta rectify this. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta Dude, make this, this match right. sounds crazy. Listen to this. NWA jersey. Horace Hogan defeats Dawn Marie and Simon Diamond in what? a two-on-one <laughs> handicap match. Holy fuck. <laughs> Damn, man. How, how did he just stop, man? Damn. I know. Dude, his, his last WCW was Jeff Jarrett. 
in a w- world title match. What? It was Jeff Jarrett versus Horace Hogan on Thunder for the world title. <laughs> Holy fuck. That's crazy. Dude, Horace's last like fucking five matches at WWE are crazy. What Horace are, Hogan versus Jeff now. Jarrett. Horace Hogan versus Goldberg. <laughs> Horace Hogan versus Hulk Hogan. What? Sting. <laughs> Billy Kidman and Horace Hogan. Wait, Billy wh- Kidman and wait, Horace Hogan and Chronic. Sting! Billy Sting. Kidman and Horace Hogan. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck. This Holy fuck. This is Whoa. nuts. Holy wow. shit, We need a Horace dude. Hogan compilation. <laughs> yeah, that's... Shout out, man. That's yeah, crazy. That's right there. Holy fuck. I shit. think he could have turned around. He should have been in the coalition as well. He, he I can't yeah, believe yeah. they didn't want him. Yeah. Wow. We move on to another backstage segment. Vince is now with Stone Cold, Kurt Angle, Undertaker, Kane, and Chris Jericho. So we come in. Austin is staring at the Undertaker, and Undertaker staring at him. Austin slowly hands the guitar to Kurt. And Kurt starts just strumming it. So Austin snatches it back from him. They're just. This is all like ad lib, fucking yeah. yeah, just whatever. Vince says, uh, "This is the most serious threat the WWF has ever known. You, Jericho, Kane." Austin says, Kane Undertaker. <laughs> Dude, Stone Cold is so Dwight Schrooted right now. This, whole, this is insane. This whole promo, he is just repeating shit that fucking Vince is saying. Vince says, we got a deal. Austin says, we got a deal. Taker says, shut up. <laughs> Austin looks down and he slaps Kurt. Vince says, whether we like it or not, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> We're going into invasion. Invasion. <laughs> We're going into this. ECW and WCW breathing down our necks. Breathing down our necks. They're breathing down our necks. <laughs> he slaps Taker in the chest. And Taker stares him down. And Austin backs off. He slaps Kurt in the chest. <laughs> Vince says, We need to function as one, as a unit, or they'll pick us apart. Pick us apart. He puts his hands on his hips, stands real like big chested. I love this. <laughs> yeah. awesome. He lo- he was standing like Superman. Yeah. <laughs> this is big. crazy. Vince says, I need a commitment. Support each other. And at the invasion, we will kick WCW and ECW's ass. And I just need everyone's word. And Taker says, me and Kane can just do it. And Vince says, it's got to be fucking five on five, bro. You dumb bastard. You and your big fucking red <laughs> brother can't do this, man. There are 15 of these fucking guys. And Austin says, I'm in. Count me in. And Kurt says, I'm in too. And Austin says, count him in too. <laughs> and Vince says, as the saying goes, united we stand. And Austin says, divided we fall. <laughs> I don't know why he fucking, <laughs> every fucking time. Vince, let's stand tall. For the WWF. This was uh this was very sitcom. This was uh super sitcom. Yeah, very, very sitcom. Uh Austin also um double knee braces, double uh <laughs> knee pads. He's not working tonight. Above knees jean shorts. <laughs> He's not working. <laughs> no way. No <laughs> way. Um yeah, so weird way to cut out of this, by the way. Oh yeah, it's just kinda just ends. Yeah. Well they do this it, thing where they go. The WW fade to black and then they I come back. But was that's that for, a fuck up on the network or was that I actually that, how it happened? I think that was an editing thing because uh, you remember they didn't have rights to WWF, so they were going to blank out the F probably at one time when they. Well, they used WWF on, on the show. Mm-hmm. They couldn't say yeah, WWF? Yeah, no, no. No, I don't know. I, I'm i not sure how. Because okay. you know they used to edit the WWF. Oh, sure. Stuff. I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it was just like an editing thing where they Maybe. edited it and didn't edit it back. Because I'm assuming fuck, that's... So if they fucked that up, that's impressive. Yeah, really. I, I It came back so he could finish his sentence and then yeah. said, oh, we'll go right back. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> uh, so now we have the Vince McMahon Town Hall. <laughs> uh, Vince McMahon brings out Stone Cold Steve Austin. He does. Austin comes out to the Disturb theme, which is always hell yeah, all time. You got Disturb theme, Steve Austin, who's also doing sitcom bits in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. It's fucking awesome. Yeah. Um, uh, Vince says that some people have said, just some people, not Vince. Vince hasn't said this. He's saying some people have said this. Uh, that Stone Cold has become an efficient brown noser. <laughs> and Austin's response to this was to go in for a hug. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing good, huh? So good. Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> uh, Vince says that Stone Cold has changed for the better. 
But mm. he doesn't need this Stone Cold. No. He says, for the invasion match, we need the old Stone Adios. Cold. Oh, stone hell yeah. Cold. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he says, I don't need a Stone Cold that's going to give me hugs. I don't need a Stone Cold that's going to give me gifts. Cowboy hats. You had your wife make me cookies. <laughs> <laughs> he said, you know what I need? I need the old Stone Cold. And Josh, oh, hell yeah. I need a Stone Cold who's a beer-swelling, foul-mouthed SOB. You're damn right we need him. <laughs> <laughs> so I, first of all, let me just say this. I love the idea that Vince McMahon wanted a different Steve Austin until he got it, and then he needed the old Steve That's Austin back. so good. Yeah. Everything in between is what made this not too. Yeah. He says, I need a Stone Cold that I'll take no shit from anybody. You tell him, Vince. You tell him. <laughs> <laughs> he says, I need Stone Cold to lead me to the invasion. Lead Team WWF. I need that old Stone Cold. You want to hit me now? <laughs> you want to knock me on my ass? Come on. Yeah, I'll do it. Knock me down. If you want Stone Cold to beat the living hell out of Vince McMahon, give me a hell yeah. Vince is beat red here. <laughs> he is screaming. Oh, he's screaming. <laughs> yeah, he's actually screaming into the mic here. And Austin shakes his head no. Austin won't do it. And Austin puts his head down. And he starts leaving. And Vince says, wait, St Steve, Steve, wait, come on, man, I need you. And Austin gets out of the ring, and he walks up the ramp, and Vince says, I need you, damn it, turn around, turn around, Stone Cold. And Austin's at the top of the ramp, give me a stunner, damn it. And Austin stops. The crowd fucking like, yeah, fuck yeah, let's fucking whoop his ass. And Austin keeps walking. Oh my God, what a Dude, fucking, that was it's crazy. So classic. That, oh, it's crazy. That, yeah, that camera really work was so great. good. They zoom in on Austin up at the top and he Him just stopping. stops. Yeah. And the crowd goes fucking nuts. He's going to come yeah. back. And then he just keeps walking. Oh, heartbreaking, man. Um, so it shows Stone Cold and Deborah trying to leave during the break. I don't know what to think anymore. <laughs> they don't have a car. <laughs> yeah, they just walk out of the parking lot. <laughs> See, We're waiting for an Uber or right? <laughs> The way for Uber, it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Stone Cold Dexy. <laughs> uh, we go backstage. Kurt Angle meets with Vince in the parking lot. Vince uh, is sad. <laughs> and Vince says he has to go find Stone Cold right now. I gotta talk some sense into him. Kurt says, "Aren't you gonna stay for my match?" <laughs> match. <laughs> match. I'm sure you'll do just fine. I gotta find Stone Cold. I got. I need someone to lead the invasion. And Kurt says. I can lead. Vince looks at him and says, I'm going to find Austin. <laughs> I got to go. go find Stone Cold. <laughs> Damn, man. Beast. Damn. That's crazy. That's tough, man. Kurt says, what if what, what if he doesn't come back? I'm going to find him. <laughs> I'm finding Stone Cold. And I'm going to talk to him. He's leading this team. <laughs> and I'm finding him, man. That's nuts. Isn't, isn't the entire arc of this Kurt does become the WF leader and stuff at the Kurt end? Kurt becomes the mole and jumps is what it is. Does he? Yeah, he, he like joins Team WCW with Austin. and then. But then he turns on him turns, in the match, I think. He turns he? back, yeah, in the Survivor yes, Series. Yes, okay, one, yeah. yeah, okay, yeah yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. That's how I remember, okay. So now we have Kane versus Rhino. What is, uh, is Kane, is this, do you, is this Kane mask a little off to you or something? Is this different? A lot of chin in here, man. A lot of, well, well that's, I mean, yeah, that's not what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah, that's fun. <laughs> it like, it, like, there was just a, the black stripe on it seemed like way more apparent here. I was like, what is, what kind of outfit is this? I don't remember this one. You got that custom for this the match. No Mercy alt that they just put yeah, in for oh, fun. I wish, that'd yeah. be sweet. <laughs> Kane versus Rhino, uh, these guys face way more than I remember them facing. They do, and I feel like I always like it, too, because they're yeah, two big yeah, fuckers just kind of throwing. Kane hits the ropes for a line here early on, and uh, he fucking takes the rope. He, he yeah. fucking turns midway into the ring. He's like, not even, I don't even know how to explain it. He, like, literally throws himself from the <laughs> middle of the ring into the rope. I've never seen anything like this. Yeah, it's awesome. These guys are in great shape, by the way. I don't know if I already mentioned, but yeah, Rhino's looking awesome here. Kane is huge. Rhino actually looks at his best in like three more years. Isn't that which fucking is crazy? Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, that's absurd. <laughs> Kane goes for the Kane line, uh, eventually hits the Kane line. Yes. And then accidentally hits the referee. No. No. Fuck. Uh, Rhino then rolls up Kane. Nick Patrick runs to the ring and counts two times and calls the match. 
<laughs> Rhino wins. Oh, the, the coalition has won this matchup. No, <laughs> no, they didn't. <laughs> that's, that's uh, Nick became. Patrick I think that's the first is, time I heard them say it on the show was Jr. saying there. The coalition has won this one. Uh, Nick Patrick, of course, WCW referee. Yes. Uh, he's the guy that has that crazy count where he like flails his arms. <laughs> like I don't really know. How to explain yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. I know the. Yeah, it's one. very weird. He's, he's <laughs> not. He's not on his side, but he's not on his stomach either. He's like kind of teetering in between, and his arms. A, yeah, very area. distinct. I was gonna say it almost looks like he counts more than three when he's flailing his arms around. It feels weird. Yeah, it does because the way he flails up and down with his, his yeah, wrist. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's it's crazy. There's a lot of referees at this time, and they all counted different, which was like really cool. Yeah, you know, like everyone had their own distinct count. Sure. Um, like Earl coming down for the with the hand was always like this exaggerated, like real, like slow fucking mm-hmm. boom. I feel like Charles boom. Robinson always threw his whole body into the count. Like he, if it, it wasn't just his arm going down, it was his head and his chest. Yeah, yeah. that was awesome. I love that dude, and we get to see him in a minute too, and he is yeah. nuts, bro. He is cracked. <laughs> Uh, we go backstage. Regal is with Tajiri, who was beat up by Taz earlier. He's crying. <laughs> <laughs> Tajiri is crying. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Regal says Tajiri versus Taz will be at the invasion. Ah, man, if this was just a few years earlier, this would have been like nuts. I know it should have been good there too, but yeah. Tajiri gets his head patted by Regal, and Earl Hebner comes in. <laughs> Like I, a, am I interrupting something? Smackdown just bring it <laughs> fucking segment. <laughs> yeah, really. I thought I was want, going to insurrection. Did you want to see me? <laughs> uh, Regal says, yeah, why you let that rhino shit just happen, yeah, Earl? What, you see what Nick Patrick just did, bro? The fuck? What am I going to do? Yeah, what the fuck am I going to do? <laughs> <laughs> you go to that locker room, you beat their fucking ass. <laughs> you challenge them to a match. And Ebner says, you damn right. <laughs> you damn right. <laughs> That's beast. And Regal says, yeah, you bring some of your referee friends with you, too. That's how you <laughs> okay. that's if, Referee that's friends. That's his only friends. Yeah, yeah. the only friends he has are refs. <laughs> some of the boys with you. So SmackDown is brought to you by the following. <laughs> Corn Nuts. Corn Gone Wrong. MX 2002 featuring Ricky Carmichael. <laughs> and Subway. Wow. Eat them sandwiches. You yeah. could already tell it was on the downswing here, sponsor-wise. MX yeah. 2002 featuring Ricky Carmichael. Get your games for your X station. <laughs> play, oh, who play, we sponsored by? PlayStation. <laughs> fuck it. I don't play these games. The only games I play are WWF games. <laughs> Definitely not no damn WCW games. I, I play that. WWF Royal Rumble on the Shaggy Dreamcast. And that game's fun. <laughs> Lita versus Trish Stratus. Yes. Um, it immediately cuts to Matt and Jeff watching backstage. But because they weren't viewing it at an awkward side angle... I could not imply what they were watching. It <laughs> could have been anything. They must it have been, been watching anything. WCW from a month ago. <laughs> <laughs> watching Horace Hogan versus Jeff Jarrett on Thunder. <laughs> and the hardest is probably watching Michinoku Pro Tapes, actually. <laughs> hey, look at this. We did good here. <laughs> JR says, these two young ladies need to settle their differences between uh, b- before the Braun Panties match. <laughs> okay, the thank the you. first ever tag team bra and panties match. This is historic. This is the greatest <laughs> night of my life, actually. <laughs> this is just business. <laughs> Great. Cole implies here that Trish beating Lita would be a huge upset, which just kind of shows how crazy it is how early on in Trish's career this is that that's like things really ramp up wow, here. Yeah. yeah. Pretty JR's, quick. JR's trying to explain the rules to a bra and panties match here as well. Why? This match is, <laughs> <laughs> well, you gotta, you know, you gotta take off, you know, to, you know. Take off the clothes and then and uh, having these in WCW. And I, take I will much. take my clothes off too. <laughs> Where is Major Guns? <laughs> and we will all be buddy ass naked together. Where is Major Guns? I heard she was canadized. We can fix Why don't her. Why you, bar- you get barbecued? That's what I'm looking for here. Crowd. <laughs> Crowd loves Lita, by the way. Hell yeah, um, man. And you know what's crazy here? I it's love Trish. J- JR, um, yes. is, JR is commentating about this bra and panties match and how you had to rip the clothes off. Rip the clothes. And there is this little, like, I don't know, she's probably seven. Your no. old girl no, watching no, yeah. in the third row, really yeah. rooting for Lita here to yeah. win this match. Like Trish uh, bumped her, and she was like, she was like, real like a gasp. And then Lita started getting back on top, and she was yeah. had her arms up cheering and stuff. And yeah, Jr. just saying, and you got to rip her top off. And <laughs> exposed breasts will be. All the and you will have to remove the panties as well. It's just a stark reminder, I guess, of yeah. like there were still. Young. Well, that's fu- the fucked up part is we were the same age as that girl as this was going on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah, you guys were. 
Uh, Lita spears Trish, hits a twist of fate, hits the moonsault clean, beats her. Yeah, Matt is uh, happy backstage. Jeff not as uh, not as happy. That I don't think girl Jeff lost. cared. Jeff was like, okay. Oh, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he cares kissed. in a second here because Tori Wilson and Stacy Keebler walk into the room to introduce oh themselves. <laughs> Uh, I thought Stacey this was. Keebler. I thought this was just for us, but turns yeah, out really. Lita and Trish are watching this from the ring on the Tron. <laughs> Fucking dumbass. I don't know Matt what they could be watching anything. Matt, well, Matt and Jeff. Oh yeah, yeah I guess you're right. <laughs> they were. I couldn't see the screen, so they could be watching anything. Jeff the Corn Nuts commercial, <laughs> and Lita and Trish were looking disgusted, confused, <laughs> <Or> heartbroken. <laughs> why? He, why? Eating them sandwiches. <laughs> I said, why? Why is this on screen? <laughs> Stacy and Tori like whisper something in the Hardy's ears and, and kiss them on the cheek and Jeff is happy about this and they leave and Matt says what was that all about and Jeff says Matt they dig us <laughs> and Trish and Lita are not happy about the same. no way I, don't know I if love that they panned up to Trish yeah Trish. you notice Matt Hardy he actually gave a kiss back he actually went in for the whole <gasps> kiss yeah he did the whole thing he Dude, wanted it okay Stacy straight up kissed Matt on the lips <laughs> yeah Matt was into it yeah <laughs> That's awesome. Holy what fuck. was that about, man? What the hell? <laughs> yeah, Tori just gave Jeff a little peck on the fucking yeah. on the cheek. Matt said, "Hey, Stacy." Well, fucking <laughs> Jeff, crazy. Probably, Jeff probably knew because Jeff didn't want to get kidmanized. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I couldn't believe that. Like Stacy didn't even. I mean, Stacy really did just go straight for the list. I was like, "Damn, they're like shoot dating like Lita and yeah." <laughs> that was yeah. crazy. How do I get someone that? This is real heat. <laughs> uh, we get the WWF boot of the week oh, brought yeah. to you by Lugs, boots and shoes. The Lugsman super kicks a microphone and then grinds on the top rope. This guy's crazy. Uh, Spike hits Bubier with a crutch and the APA beats the Dudleys to win the tag titles. Did you see this Bradshaw outfit? APA the shirt, gloves? full gloves and acolytes tights? What the is gloves. that? This Gloves is, is nuts. Crazy transition <laughs> period here from Acolytes to yeah, APA. Yeah, yeah. This yeah, is kidding. fucked up. It shows a replay of Sarah getting into the ring and hitting Shane with a kendo stick. Oh no! Which DDP then hits Sarah with the diamond cutter? Or was it Vince <laughs> in a DDP match? <laughs> yeah, really. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Who knows? Uh, and then she was gurneyed out. Yeah, she gets stretched out after a diamond cutter. He broke her neck. She oh. jumped real big into that, too. Yeah. She, like, jumped for it. She's like, well, okay. yeah, if it looks like that. shit, she was going to take a last ride. So. <laughs> uh, we go backstage. DDP, Shane, and Steph. Uh, they could have seen anything. It says that they saw the, the replay of that, but they, I couldn't see the TV, Who so I'm know? not entirely Who sure. Yeah, <laughs> what they saw. Could be anything. Stephanie says, uh, Undertaker looks mad. And DDP says, was that his wife? <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, that's, whoops. Sorry about that. <laughs> we go backstage to my favorite segment ever. <laughs> Earl Hebner comes in with the boys. The boys. And Nick hey. Patrick is hanging out with the boys. With the boys. <laughs> <laughs> refs only hang out with refs, and I love this. In this the ref awesome. locker room. So Earl Hebner and Nick Patrick, he said, I'm going to challenge you at Invasion. He said, we, we don't have to wait for invasion to do it right now. And he jumps out. <laughs> <laughs> they start fighting. Little Nate's just throwing fucking punches and shit. They're going crazy. The boys are going crazy. What do you have on that board? JR says, when is this madness going to end? <laughs> it's just the referees fighting right there. Who's going to break it up? The referees break it up. <laughs> oh, that's true. Yeah. That's oh, awesome. Shit. They had this board back there like they were doing like football plays or something on this Hell? board. I don't know what was going on. This They're is trying crazy, to teach man. Nick Patrick how to fuck his account. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the invasion is brought to you by PlayStation. Whoa. Doof. <laughs> that noise. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, Jeff Hardy versus Mike Awesome for the hardcore title is up next. Mike Awesome's WWF theme sucks, and he doesn't have his new gear, so this seamstress is worthless, man. She didn't know how to make pants. Well, he said, you know, you might not be able to do it. I'm going to need it soon. You make yeah, pants? Real soon. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Awesome with short hair and goatee, but in tremendous shape. Great, great look. Yeah, He's he looked control. awesome here. Um, this sounds fucking sweet. Jeff Hardy versus Mike Awesome Hell for the hardcore yeah. title. How the fuck did they not make $50 billion on this guy? No, I mean, which one? But yes. <laughs> well, they made $50 billion on one of them. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> they could have made fucking $500 billion with Jeff, though. Fucking, but still. Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, dude, my, I mean, he was fucking good, man. He was real good. He's fucking great here. He looks fucking crazy. JR, JR put him over like crazy. JR's put him over all. He's a awesome, a hell, of a, a hell of an athlete. He had many years in Japan. And Vince said, where? <laughs> fucking hell, man. <laughs> Should have said that shit, man. Yeah, like... I don't know, man. There's I, I, you let Mike Awesome fucking hit one awesome bomb on 
fucking, I don't know, Mark Henry or something, and he's made. Like, Whoa, Cal's whole WCW crazy. career was awesome bomb off crazy shit. Yeah, man. Just easy. Easy stuff. Same with ECW, I guess, too. That's it with everywhere. Was, yeah. Awesome bomb off crazy Cable. shit. Yeah. Uh, yeah, hit each other with chairs and shit. I mean, like, really. Um, JR goes over his career in Japan, ECW. He's been everywhere. Literally done everything everywhere, yeah. and WWF couldn't find a spot for 6'6", 270, shredded the gills no. all-star worker that's like crazy there had to be like some story behind it that other than just like we didn't couldn't He's find a, a fucking place for him there's no way fucking name <laughs> <laughs> um awesome grabs uh, a trash can hardy drop kicks it knocks him back <laughs> fuck you <laughs> um hardy goes to the barricade to do this the running splash off the barricade awesome hits him in the head with a trash can lid i feel like i don't know if it's just this is how it was or if I, I just didn't realize, I feel like every time we watch an older show, Jeff never hits a running barricade spot. He's always getting fucked on it. That's his cutoff. Yeah. That's yeah, his, like, yeah, that's his yeah. cutoff. Hardy hits a Frankensteiner off the top, then Ooh. does a split leg drop. This is the penis uh, leg drop? Yeah, they said that's legal. <laughs> well, I mean, he does it in regular matches yeah, anyway. I, I was going to say <laughs> Oh, no, he's allowed to do that because there's no a hardcore match. It's they just fucking... like they could never figure out if it was like if he is actually hitting their dick or not, or yeah. like what the deal he is was. here. <laughs> uh, yeah, same with hardcore Holly. It's like, is he hitting the dick or is he hitting the stomach? Like, because well, oh. for a while he had to distract the ref when he did it, and then they just stopped doing that. Attitude. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I guess the only one they ever the, the gold dust uh, corner gimmick they always distracted the ref for. That was always yeah, yeah. balls. Yeah, that was there was no yeah. There was no <laughs> Jeff Hardy grabs a ladder. Holy it is shit. not a ladder match. No. Uh, and then just throws it at Mike Awesome, who's in the <laughs> ring. Just hits him right in the stomach with it from the outside. <laughs> so Mike Awesome tries to use a broom against Jeff Hardy's broom, ladder. Broom. That does not work. No way. Uh, Jeff Hardy then grabs the broom and does an avalanche broom leg drop. <laughs> a that was awesome. flying witch leg drop. That was awesome. That was very cool. I was almost convinced that would have been the finish. Um, Jeff then climbs the ladder and Mike Awesome just fucking dumps it Dude. and Hardy smacks off the top rope. I swore he was like going, going over. over the rope or just on his neck. This was scary shit here. He's just done that so much, I guess, where he yeah. can just, he's Jeff Hardy. Yeah, that's, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I mean, Jay, and funny here, JR says, you know, you can break a limb landing on the cables. Yeah. Ain't no, ca uh, ain't no cables here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. That's WCW. You going to go back they to also, hell or not? They also say at one point, Jeff Hardy's not much of a hardcore guy. And I was like, mm. what? Yeah, he never has been, has he, Tony? I've never it's seen that. Like, what the hell? <laughs> nah, no way. <laughs> uh, awesome goes for the awesome splash frog style. Fucking crazy bastard. Big. Um, Hardy then just says, no way. Moves out of the way. <laughs> Uh, the the whole spot is crazy. Awesome goes for the awesome splash. Jeff moves. He hits him with a German suplex anyways. What the fuck? Jeff threw a clothesline. Awesome ducked and then fucking released German on his head. <laughs> Holy Huge hell. too. Like he brought him up. I said, oh shit. Yeah, well, he's in the nuts. coalition. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, Edge comes down with Christian. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, and there's some weird camera shots here. Yeah, I don't know if they, this is like Christian was a little late here or something, because Austin, 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 Austin's going for the awesome bomb to Jeff. Like Austin. <laughs> That's oh. his new WWF name. <laughs> it sounds a little too close. Sorry. Get out. Uh, he goes with awesome bomb Jeff into the ladder. Edge comes out and kind of hits awesome in the back with a chair. I, he like puts it in front of him. Don't move. He, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then Christian uh, comes out of no clips into the scene, and they concerto awesome. And then spinning Jeff fucking concerto. Yeah. This was nuts. Was awesome looking. Uh, that's like one of the gnarliest ones I've seen. That was awesome. Standing. Yeah. Uh, crazy in. shit. <laughs> Jeff then hits a swanton and wins a hardcore belt. New hardcore champion. And then why he, didn't everyone do this for every fucking match? I I I don't know. I don't knock know. the ref. Come in and interfere and blah blah blah. I guess that happened quite a bit. I guess it happened in Kane and Rhino. Oh, uh, Kane and Rhino was a little different, but that also. But Kane and Rhino was not a hardcore match. Like you don't even need to bump the ref. Just have come, just come yeah, out. That's right. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah why isn't there like 15 <laughs> people ringside at all times for every oh. match, lumberjack style? Especially like you know the coalition trying to get all the titles. There's no reason why they can't just fuck this match up too. You start if you start breaking it down, it gets even dumber. <laughs> They're they only they're only twenty deep in backstage segments. Like, what? <laughs> what? Yeah, Especially that's that's right. half of the guys we didn't see even wrestle on the show. Fucking Chavo, Stasiak, Jindrak. They, could they all were there. Be out here. Like, they were you didn't gear. want to come up your boy. <laughs> Meat is in gear. <laughs> That would help you. Really? <laughs> no way. Fuck my guts. Right, they man. said. <laughs> Shit. All right. Damn. 
Uh, we go backstage after that. Uh, Taker is there, and he says he's going to kick DDP's ass. <laughs> he's on the wrestler's court here. <laughs> if Kurt can keep his head yeah, out of his ass for long enough <laughs> for me to win tonight. And Kurt says, yeah. <laughs> Takes a like, Kane, you take care of the backstage. And Kurt says, oh, no, hold on a second here. Vince and Austin are gone. I'm the leader now. I'm in charge. Okay, so Kane and Jericho, you make sure this is everyone backstage okay here. <laughs> Taker just stares at him. He looks him down, up and down, and Kurt says, okay, fine, you can be leader for tonight. <laughs> Taker then, uh, I love I loved this as he like just walks away. You can be leader, and I'm out of here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then we go into the main event of the evening, which is uh, Shane and DDP versus Undertaker and Kurt Angle. Taker, for most, I feel like this is just mostly Undertaker beating the fuck out of Shane McMahon. Shane McMahon, I was trying to think of an answer to, is there anyone that wrestles like Shane McMahon? And then I remembered all the backyarders that I like. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Because that's really, Arsenal. he just wrestles like a backyarder, right? I mean, that's the yeah, closest he does. thing. He but does, I love, yeah. I love watching Shane wrestle. I feel like that's like so fun because you could tell he's just doing shit. Yeah, exactly. he's actually quite a good uh, bumper and seller. Yeah, too. yeah, he is. That's, I mean, that's all you need to be if you don't know how to work. Just bump. Yeah, I mean, yeah, especially when you're working Taker and shit. All of Taker's offense is like, I'm punching into the corner, elbows, elbows, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, the only thing eyes, he really does. Yeah, the only thing he really does is like the tombstone or the last ride. You just you gotta know, know I mean? how to tuck your chin on those, and that's everything else. Is that's you. it. Easy, easy. Yeah. <laughs> Taker's actually a super easy guy to work. Yeah, unless unless he didn't like you, then he was gonna brain you with yeah, a chair. Well, that's a whole different you know? story. Yeah. That's that's evil Taker. <laughs> <laughs> Sadly, James, I think they're one and the same. <laughs> yeah, I, I was right. just thinking about this. They have like a million people on WCW, ECW, and Shane McMahon's wrestling in the main event. Like, come on. <laughs> well, I think mean, yeah, Shane yeah, McMahon's wrestling in DDP. Is running away from all the WWF guys. Oh my god, I don't, I can't, oh my god. Shane is representing <laughs> yeah. WCW in this. Match. Yeah, I know, you have all these wrestlers out there that probably want to get a chance. Uh, Shane's in the main event. It's whatever, fine, man, you want whatever. Sean Stasiak in this main event? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Meat? If he's meat, yes. yeah. Humorous? <laughs> you want humorous? Okay, want I don't know. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> well, he comes out here a little bit. He does. We actually get, once again, it breaks down all logic, but we'll talk about it. Uh, Shane and DDP uh, run to the ring. They go to get in at the same exact time. Shane gets in the ring. Oh, no. DDP doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry about that. Now Shane is getting his ass kicked by Undertaker and Kurt Angle. Uh, Kurt's going for pins. Taker is shoving him off because he w- doesn't want the match to end because he wants to whoop DDP's ass. He's dragging Shane to the DDP corner and tells him to tag in, and DDP does not want to do that. So Taker just keeps whooping Shane's ass. <laughs> God, he is really whooping his ass, too. Yeah, he's like, just super all it day. On him. Yeah. Taker drags Shane to DDP's corner. And gives him the middle finger, and he wants him to tag out. <laughs> <laughs> this was crazy. Of course, that does not happen. Um, Angle then locks in the ankle lock on Shane. DDP pulls him out and then throws Angle into the steps. And then he runs away. <laughs> he runs over the barricade because Taker is there. And he says, oh, sorry about that. <laughs> DDP eventually tags in here. And he, him and Kurt are working. Oh, uh, he gets the hot tag. It's crazy. He gets the hot tag does, and the crowd right. goes nuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The crowd goes crazy. Yeah, They're so with, ready for this asshole. Yeah, I'm, I'm DDP and I suck. <laughs> 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 Fuck me. <laughs> I should That's be fucked fired. Up, man. <laughs> he doesn't get shit in this match either. He does like a power bomb, and then they. Uh, he does it. this spiral bomb. That's all he does, which is cool. But it's like, oh, what the fuck, Warpin. man? Uh, Shane, the people champ. I love the Shane jumping big back elbow. <laughs> That's one of my favorite. That's Shane a sweet moves. move. Hell yeah. yeah! It's a total Shane move. You can like you can pick it out of a lineup. Like that's yeah. how crazy. Like that's that's how you know you like you're a good wrestler is, is if you, you can pick a, something out of a lineup. Had, sure. Like Kazarian's walked on the ramp on AEW. Or... <laughs> <laughs> like I go, oh, that's cast. Wardlow, I hope he goes to hell. Yeah, it's pretty... <laughs> Wardlow with the he's always messing with his straps. Real, real like I don't yeah. know, sexually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like doing his tongue, well, no, going crazy. Yeah. You gotta get a little descriptive yeah. and stuff. Yeah, uh, yeah, DDP, what? DDP hits a flying clothesline off the top to Kurt, and I'm sure Taker was stirring over that. You hit back my brother's move. <laughs> <laughs> Not today. <laughs> uh, Kurt tags out, and Taker is whooped in DDP's ass. He hits all the classics. Shane gets in. He's getting bumped around. Taker then destroys Shane with a fucking last ride. This is like... Last ride has to be like an all-timer finish, right? Like, it's so... Last ride Sarah style, man. Yeah, this is nuts. crazy, man. Let's... Pull wedgie power bomb. That's awesome. (laughs) He was super nice about it, too. I I guess... I guess, like, it it was on Shane, right? Yes. 
So yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> if yeah. it was like DDP, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hit me with a big one. <laughs> um, Kurt puts DDP in the ankle lock and Taker fucking schmazzes him off of it because he does not want him to end the match. But don't worry about that, because here comes the coalition. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> All members of the coalition, well, most of them. Uh, I think this is the WCW side that comes out first. Rushes the ring, and Taker and Kurt just whoop all their asses. JR says the coalition have hit the ring here. Uh, disqualification, of course. Uh, couldn't have came out. It's, a, it's a main event. Yeah, well, it's on a Taker WWF main event, television. Yeah. yeah, of course, it's DQ. Uh, Kurt and Taker <laughs> clear the ra- uh, clear the ring. Crowd is super excited for that. That they fucked everybody up. More coalition members coming through the crowd. Kurt leaves the ring to fight them. Hugh Morris tries to fight the Undertaker in the middle of the ring and gets his what ass whooped. What the fuck was the, he thinking? What the hell? Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know, bro. <laughs> you ready to eat? Are you really ready to go one-on-one with Taker? You lost your mind. They should have had Hugh Morris take a last ride to the floor <laughs> from the ring. <laughs> he, you would have said yes, too. <laughs> he better have. He had uh, to. There was no choice. You either take it or you fucking get the hell out of here. Everyone's on the outside fucking fighting. Taker walks to DDP. Hits the ropes, huge taker dive onto everybody. I thought that looked cool as fuck. I love how uh, I, I when he went to go do it, I said, I guarantee that this is like the most anyone's ever been caught in the history. I was gonna say, this yeah, all the boys yeah, yeah. Keep job. <laughs> if he would have fucked that dive up, bro, this whole angle would have been. That's it. <laughs> Uh, there's no more invasion pay review because everyone was fired. Give me your money. All your money. Now. <laughs> you better go crying back to Ted. I've never, I have never, that like legit was the yeah. coziest catch. Like shout out, man. Cause like, I, I it's funny. Watch all the they Taker guys. Them up. That's how many people were there to catch him. They could have just yeah. He them. even hit the ground. Yeah. He didn't even hit the ground. <laughs> he landed, he had a nice cushion. Uh, Kane and Jericho come out to make the save as everyone's kicking Taker and Kurt's ass. It's like 15 on four, and the coalition is getting their asses whooped here by these fucking four dudes. More coalition guys come out to brawl. Uh, Raven starts whooping Undertaker's ass, which made me very happy. <laughs> that was, he's stomping him <laughs> yeah. out, punching. I was like, hell yeah, Raven. Heyman comes down on the ramp. Uh, he's laughing as he watches on. JR says, he's a sick, smelly, bulbous human being. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> smelly. <laughs> I just, he just couldn't finish. And stinky bastard. <laughs> he was. He was like eating his own words as he yeah. was talking there. <laughs> That's crazy, man. <laughs> Uh, the Dudleys hit the 3D to Kurt. Taker is selling Chuck Palumbo punches. <laughs> this is crazy world we're living in here now. Yeah, this is like a different time. <laughs> uh, Lance Storm super kicks Jericho. Everyone's just hitting their shit in the ring. Gore to Kane. Uh, Paul Heyman's just talking shit. JR says, shut up, you bulbous fat piece of trash. <laughs> <laughs> he calls him bulbous fuck, again. <laughs> fuck you. Uh, DDP slaps Taker around. He's trying to taunt him. Taker fucking goozles him, and then everyone gloms Taker, and DDP hits the diamond cutter on Taker. JR says, by God, this is serious! We're in trouble! This is just like, <laughs> I mean, it's funny me saying it as JR, but it's actually fucking sweet. Like, it is pretty no, sweet. It's cool, yeah. He's Iconic, panicking yeah. on commentary. Stephanie comes out applauding. Uh, JR says, we need the original, the authentic rattlesnake! Uh, Cole says, this, uh, Cole has a cool line too, he says, this two-headed monster is out of control, referring to Stephanie and Shane, which was yeah, cool yeah. That is good. That is. A, I mean, the lines here, all yeah. the sound bites are just. Yeah, oh, they're just great. Uh, can the WWF survive invasion without the old Stone Cold Steve Austin? And that's how the show goes off the air with the, all the boys and fucking invasion fuckers. Classic WWF fucking ending with everyone yeah. schmazzed in the ring and they're yeah. yelling yeah. and going crazy and yeah. Man, it's just like again. I, we've. I mean, I feel like we've talked about a lot about the invasion and and why it could have or should have been better. But damn, man, there's just. I mean. For what it was, like, this was cool to me growing up, just because it was like, oh, fuck, WCW and ECW, like, their names, yeah, they're yeah. using the names. Uh, well, let's not even, like, get into the, well, they could have had Kevin yeah, Nash, well, they could have sure. had Steiner. They still had some tools here, man. Sure. Yeah, yeah. They, they didn't want didn't they didn't use any of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you really want to, if you really want to book it differently, like. Horace Hogan. Yeah, look at the names they had. <laughs> <laughs> get, like these guys are crazy you know horse hogan was working bull cannon style and like i mean has anyone because I've, I've seen you know a few different invasion angle bookings and they sure. all have to do with using you know, what if kevin nash came have, over right. what if steiner did but what about it? what if they just used the people that they had you know what Better. if it was like gregory helms and you know 
Yeah, well, I uh, mean, Mike Awesome Mean Surely was a way. I mean, especially on the ECW side, at least. I mean, how about not yeah. Jabroni not turn DDP into a pussy? Like, you know what I mean? He was like, the people's champ. Yeah, like Booker T. Like, you know, they uh, probably the best they did with was Booker, and even then, they fucking huge piece of shit too. Like Buff Bagwell also fucking was oh, huge coming off man, WCW. Huge, also, and then man. they we, just canned him too. Yeah, we fucking watched that fucking Booker and Buff Bagwell match on Watch This. I feel like a while ago. Not nearly as bad as fine. people say it was, man. It was, uh, it was fucking just a match. It was not. It was a as WCW bad. heavyweight main event. Like yeah. that's like exactly it's how they, they sabotaged it. it. They wanted it to fail by where they booked sure. it. It was like anti WWE. They put it on the main event. It just had no legs to stand on, you know. Yeah. So what are they gonna do? That was the yeah. whole invasion, though. They just like and they had Scott Hudson, and then they let Scott Hudson go. <laughs> yeah, I like yeah. Scott Hudson. I do too. I like Scott Hudson a lot. Cool. I mean, fun, fun show. A lot of invasion stuff. Uh, a lot of a lot of recaps. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Stone Cold and Kurt and Vince is. I will never get tired of seeing them just fucking around, man. Dude, that's fucking sweet. I, I can't believe it was a. Uh, the Jimmy Crack Corn and the old Stone Cold episode all in yeah, one. Yeah, I, I didn't realize, realize that. It was yeah, the same yeah. thing. That just goes to show wow. how much shit was going on even during this time that it's like, oh, wow, that was going on during this episode too? Like, fuck. And I, be I believe the next episode after this is the infamous Stone Cold, old Stone Cold Returns at the end of the night. Oh, the pop. The old, the old biggest, Stone Cold comes well, Probably one yeah. of the biggest wrestling reactions of all time, which I imagine we'll get to eventually as well. <laughs> yeah, but. I imagine we have to watch that, yeah. Yeah. 